Well, hello there, it's Morgan here, and welcome to today's episode. Today, we're going to be talking about feeling like you need more time, whether it's in a very wide, expansive sense in regard to your entire life, or whether it's something smaller, maybe in the moment, something that you're presently working on, working toward, working with, and you're thinking to yourself, I just wish I had more time. I know I have to deliver this, or I I know I said to myself that I was going to have this deadline. That could be, again, it could be something in a few days, a few weeks, or maybe in a few years, just thinking about the decades of your life. I said I was going to do this by this time, or I thought I was going to be able to accomplish this, but I'm not sure if it's ready or some people are saying that it's technically ready, but I don't really feel like it's ready. Just feeling like you're not quite ready for something and you just need more time. If you've ever dealt with that, this is something that I learned from the stove in my kitchen and particularly a photo of the stove in the kitchen. And it's not a particularly interesting photo. It's just a regular photo, but I'll put it in the show notes so that you can see it in case you're curious. But this photo is of some pots that are just sitting on the stove. And it was before we were getting ready to cook something. And as I was looking at it, I immediately just, the word came to me, stirring, 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 stirring. So I took a photo of it and then it took me a few days to kind of put this together. But this is what I've come up with. I was like, oh, I, I, okay, I see what was happening there. It was kind of spinning in the background for a few days and then it finally <laughs> came forth in the form of words, which I will share with you now. So here is what I've learned from looking at this photo of a stove. I am free to give myself time and space to be in process. I am allowed to see the act of cooking, even metaphorical cooking, as a worthy endeavor, even before the meal is ready for the plate. In its own way, this process is a work of art. So I want to share with you a little bit on how I got there. So there are many definitions of art, but many people view art as an endeavor that reflects experiences, emotions, ideas, and many other things. But there's a tendency, however, to think of art only as this final thing. But what this photo of the stove caused me to really think about and that word stirring the present tense of that word even stirring it just really locked in for me and I just I just ran with it and even though there's this tendency to think of art as this final thing what if there was room to see the process of cooking of making of creating as an endeavor that was a form of art all on its own So what is an endeavor? According to Oxford languages, an endeavor is an attempt to achieve a goal. So art is an endeavor. I think we could say cooking is an endeavor. Living is an endeavor. And that word endeavor, just thinking about how that means an attempt, that makes me think about how we can see the attempts at things that we're making as valid even before they're finished in the form of a meal or a canvas. And maybe we can see our lives as art before they're finished too. And when we start to feel like we're running out of time or we just don't have enough time to make the dish exactly as we want, we can remind ourselves that before anybody else experiences what we are working on, while we are in process, this is valid. It is an endeavor that is a work of art all on its own. And here's the thing. If you spend enough time pursuing an endeavor as a work of art, stirring and experimenting with a process like cooking, giving everything time to marinate and sear and caramelize, eventually someone might find you cooking and begin to inquire, what are you cooking? That smells amazing. 
Can I taste it? And even if you're still in the zone, stirring all your ingredients and it's not quite ready, it's not quite ready, you're free to say if you choose, sure, and let them try it. Now, here's where this whole stove thing just really, really helped me. (laughs) The significance of this other person in my life coming in, complimenting what I'm quote unquote cooking, I see that as the editing and the publishing process or the product creation process. That is a key moment because I'm still stirring. I'm still making something. However, eventually in stirring and making things, eventually someone else will become curious about the process that you're in. Maybe not everybody, but there will be times where some people choose to stop and be curious about what you're working on. And in that moment, you get to decide if you want to give them a taste. So maybe instead of thinking about I'm stirring and I'm stirring, I'm working on what I'm working on. So someday it'll be the perfect form. Maybe instead of thinking about it that way, just thinking about no matter what happens, I'm going to keep coming back to this stove. Why? Because I need to eat. I'm going to keep coming back to the stove and I'm going to keep stirring and I'm going to keep making things. And some things will take longer to cook than others. But even while I'm cooking, there's going to be an aromatic experience. There's going to be a sensory experience that I'm able to engage in. This is an attempt. This is an endeavor. This is a way of living. And it's valid and it's meaningful. And it's a work of art already on its own. I've already done the thing. I've already done it just by trying. I've already done it just by trying to stir, just by trying to make something. It's already valid on its own. And if I'm able to get it into the form of a deliverable that I need to email to somebody, or if I'm able to get it into a form of a sentence that I need to deliver to someone and say, here's what I'm working on, here's where I'm at, here's what's going on, then great. But that's just an addition to what's already been happening all along, which is, I've been present to this process of stirring, of having these things on their different eyes on the stove at different temperatures and trying different things and exploring. And that entire process has been valid even before anything gets on the plate. And yes, there will come a time where we put things on that plate and someone else gets to experience it. But that doesn't stop us from being able to keep going back again and again and letting the process be the thing that brings us alive. And then the things that we're actually able to deliver and turn into something that's material that people can see, then, okay, that's great. That'll happen. But in the meantime, what's happening on the inside of me while I'm learning to stir and explore and try with all these different ingredients and experience all these different things, that right there is a worthy endeavor. That right there is a work of art all on its own. And being in the process is something that we can spend a lifetime making space for. And we're not wasting our time by returning back to it again and again. We're not wasting time if we're not focused on a final product for everything. We're not wasting time by meandering from one book to the next, even if we don't finish the previous book. We're not wasting time by being in our 20s or 30s or 40s and beyond and not having a game plan like our peers. Instead, we're learning to allow ourselves to keep a few pots going and keep trying new things. You are allowed to pick up the cooking utensils of life and use the available ingredients to be present in the process. Even if the ingredients you have are just conversations with people you live with or a much needed nap or a book that is helping you grow, your process is a meaningful endeavor worth investing in and in its own way, a work of art. Others may not experience it that way, but the thing is, You can, and you are allowed to peer down at the ensemble of pots and pans on the stove before you and let the aromatic auditory visual experience of the process speak to you. And as you practice being present in this way, you can let your senses confirm what your heart already knows. Slowly but surely, you are learning to come alive to what you are experiencing 
and creating in this life. And that is an art form in and of itself. Well, thank you so much for listening. And before we go, I would like to leave you with a question and you can either just journal about this or just carry it with you throughout the day. And that is, what is something that you're doing in your life right now that is an endeavor, but it doesn't feel like it's very much, but you're, you're putting your effort in. You, you really are something stirring. It could even just be thoughts. It could just be trying to work through thoughts or feelings. It doesn't have to be something, you know, like a material of some sort, like cooking. It could just be thoughts or feelings. What's something that you're, you're working through, working with right now, stirring, and you think that you might be able to give yourself permission to see it as a work of art, a a living work of art, something that is unfolding as an endeavor that represents emotions, experiences, feelings, whatever it is in a meaningful way. Where in your life are you seeing a work of art? Thanks so much for listening. I'm Morgan Harper Nichols.